How's it going, guys? We're looking at crypto today. Uh, it's been a while since I've looked at crypto. Uh, you guys know it's not something that I follow uh, super closely. Um, honestly, the, you know, I, I do see it being around, but for me, like, not a lot of concrete things actually happen that you can follow. You know, with real stocks, like, there's news lawsuits, scandals, earnings, releases of products, like competitors rolling out, you know. But the crypto, I don't feel like it's the same vein, so there's not always something to talk about. But, uh, you know, typical disclaimer before we get started, especially with this stuff. Um, you know, none of this is financial, legal, or tax advice. I'm not a registered professional. This is all very speculative. Um, take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is just for entertainment and do your own research and consult a professional before investing. Sipping on a uh, Corona right now. Now, I've heard about some of the news with uh, Ripple XRP. We'll get to that. Um, but let's just do kind of a quick run through and see where things are at. So, Bitcoin. At 30 Looks like, looks like it was at high teens, low twenties mostly, and then in March of this year, kind of ran up, and you know, we saw a pretty big run up in June. I wonder if that has to do with the uh, the XRP lawsuit that got settled. You know, okay, let's just hop to that first. Sorry if it's a little bright for you guys. This website does not have a dark mode. Um, but basically, the SEC was taking Ripple to court, um, basically alleging that they breached some laws um, through, you know, token sales. Um, it ended up kind of being a win for Ripple. Uh, they did get in trouble for, I guess, how they sold their tokens to private market investors um, and institutions, I guess that somehow did, you know, did violate federal securities laws. But the big news is that the uh, tokens on exchanges, which is, you know, where most of the individuals buy and trade Ripple, and most of the, you know, the smaller speculators lie, um, that did not violate security law, um, and they're not considered securities. Um, because there's no guaranteed expectation of a return, I guess. Um, so that's kind of been viewed as a big win and landmark case. And I think people are kind of expecting that that's going to pave the way for other cryptos to have, you know, similar rulings. Um, definitely still some unknowns. But let's see, let's see. A lot of people are expecting it's going to pave the way for other cryptos, which is cool. But um, SEC first Ripple in brief. Ripple putting XRP on exchanges for trading is not an investment contract and therefore not a security. So there you go. But that's why um, Ripple is up astronomically. You can see here. Look at that. Look at that. So I guess the Bitcoin run-up was well before this, so I'm not sure not sure what uh, contributed to that kind of run-up in June, but this, this is all Ripple. You can see jump from 47 cents to looks like 70s, and then dropped a little bit, pulled back to 70-ish, and then run back up, and now we're at 80 sense crazy um, a lot of uh, stable coins are you know <laughs> stabilized uh, I know that was a debacle for a while with the uh, old FTX collapse um, ethereum at 1900 let's see um, nothing too crazy happening there 
is the Binance coin, 241. Cardano's at 33 cents, up pretty decent, it looks like, in the past week. Um, that, that looks like it's off the same Ripple news there. That's the same time frame. Um, I, I do feel like it's a little overhyped for a lot of these altcoins to be rushing as much as they are off the Ripple news if they weren't even facing the same level of scrutiny as Ripple. I feel like Ripple was kind of the one getting beat up, which is probably why some of these have pulled back more so after the uh, Ripple announcement jump. So Lana is not doing well. I wonder what the deal with that is. If uh, if you guys know what's going on with Solana, drop it down in the comments. I mean, it looks like it's had a good month, but that is a pretty nasty chart for the year compared to a lot of the other cryptos, so... I don't know what's going on with that. Dogecoin at seven cents. Crazy to think that this thing is worth ten billion. Um, looks like a little bit of a jump off of the uh, XRP news there as well, which again doesn't really make that much sense. I don't think Dogecoin was really in any trouble. Um, one year. It's actually not doing too bad. I forgot about that run-up. <laughs> Dogecoin does not make sense to me. Uh, we have Tron actually holding somewhat steady. Looks like it's up a little bit. Um, yeah. It's down at five cents at the end of last year, and it's since come back. Um, looks like it's been a pretty steady upward trend. It got a little pump from the Ripple news, but not too much else. Uh, Polygon, 76 cents. Litecoin, $92. Polkadot, $5.27. Avalanche, 14. Stellar Lumens, 17 cents. Bitcoin Cash, 244. Duncoin, I don't know if I've heard of that. Don't know if I've heard of this one either. Maybe I have. I can't remember. Dai, Shiba Inu, Binance Coin. Oh, oh that's Binance, a stable coin. Never mind. Um, Chainlink. Don't know if I know this one. Leo, Uniswap, 588, Cosmos, Atom, 926, Monero, 166. Uh, let's see if there's any other real ones of no. I've heard of VeChain before. That was a big TikTok one a while back. Um, probably didn't pan out super well. Sandbox, I think, is the VR one, right? Central Land, ApeCoin. What do we have? Market cap, like 600 million. It's still insane. KuCoin token. Yeah, Zcash. Wow, Zcash is far down, I swear. It used to be higher. Am I tripping? Oh, yeah. Back in the day, it used to be hundreds of dollars. That's crazy. IOTA used to be a big one too. But yeah, let's hop over into some news. I read the Ripple article. Um, bipartisan bill to regulate DeFi crypto security risk introduced into US Senate. Um, by bipartisan bill introduced into the Senate on July 18th that would tighten uh, KYC requirements and anti money money laundering regulations. Not really sure how you can tighten that. I feel like they're already pretty, pretty strict, but uh, Bill would subject DeFi operations to the same requirements as other financial companies. No way. The bill would make anyone who controls that project liable for use of the DeFi service by sanctioned persons. That's, that seems kind of crazy, the liability standpoint. People on Twitter freaking out, obviously. Don't know if you guys saw this one. Someone in the uh, United Arab Emirates uh, got sentenced to eight years in prison for this big uh, fraud scheme. 
a Nigerian cyber scammer who lived a prolific lifestyle on social media was sentenced to eight years in federal prison for scamming businesses across the United States. <clears throat> it will pay eight million dollars in restitution, having already surrendered 151 bitcoins to the U.S. government. Wow. I feel like I might have heard of him before. Network of scammers masquerade as corporate entities using phishing emails. Scammers duped employees into sending money on behalf of their employers who are really scammers. It's crazy. Uh, Vitalik Buterin explains how Ethereum plans to make crypto wallets as simple as email. He's got some big ears. Um, account abstraction. Interesting. I wonder what that means. Would allow users to create non-custodial wallets as programmable smart contracts. I don't know exactly what that means. It's a little little off from my head, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's a little too technical for me. If any of you guys understand this, drop it down below. I know some of you guys follow crypto a lot more than I do. But overall, yeah, it seems like crypto's in a somewhat decent place. I think the Ripple news is driving a lot of hype. Um, Bitcoin's at 30k, which isn't bad, and it seems like we're kind of past the whole FTX mess. It's just now kind of a matter of uh, government getting involved. It seems like it's becoming a little bigger portion of their focus, so we'll see where that goes. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, drop comments down below. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you next time.